So this is a joint presentation between myself, um, Carol Kennedy, I'm a science teacher here. And I've been here almost 19 years. And my colleague, um, we speak for both Bronx Regional and for Southern Academy. So this is a joint presentation between myself, um, Carol Kennedy, I'm a science teacher here. And I've been here almost 19 years. My name is Iris Carr. I'm a science teacher at Outdoor Age. And I have been here for five years. I am also a member living in this community. Good evening, family. I am Tomaso Santiago. the image shows what our students were doing last week and it's our big proposal here. Um, we want one school on one floor. <laughs> so I want to give a little history about Satellite Academy. Some of you may not know this. We've been here for almost 40 years and uh, Bronx Regional as well. And um, we started because the big comprehensive high schools needed a place for children who felt that they were lost, unknown, uh, unsafe, and disempowered. So Satellite Academy and Bronx Regional started to give them a space and a place. Um, we were, and we still are, the last chance often before a child gave up and dropped out of their high school. Our schools were the original small schools, where we have tested a many, uh, the, the model that we have now of many schools in the room. And after many trials and errors with this model that's worked for over 40 years, we've learned one thing. One school, one school. Now, that's why they left their former schools. 
Why is it that they have come to our schools and they have scared them? First of all, they say they feel that they have the space to be nurtured and supported as they relearn, because really and truly, we have to reteach them what it means to be a part of an educational community. Now, how nurturing this looks. That's one of our science teachers, Angela. So this is what we want. And this is really the biggest thing. We want full and informed participation of the entire community in deciding how to best use what the Department of Education believe is extra space in this building. Now first of all, we also understand that public education in our country and city is in a crisis. And that successive administrations have worked really hard to come up with a variety of solutions. We also know that the DOE has followed the letter of the law with the process it has set up to inform the public of the changes to the educational and public space, this space here. We, unfortunately, do not feel the DOE has followed the spirit of the law. By fully informing or involving all stakeholders in this community, decision to co-locate another school in this building. Without stakeholder involvement, particularly when those stakeholders are parents and children, there will not be any success. And here are some of our stakeholders talking to our elected officials. Bronx Regional, on the other hand, by 2014, will be 
instead of the current space that we have, will be less, will be put in less space, 26% less space than we have right now. So just in case you don't like graphs, <laughs> this is the same information, or similar. Um, the plan is going to reduce Satellite Academy from 20 classrooms to 10.5, so half. Uh, the plan will reduce Bronx Regional from 19.5 to 15.5, a 25% reduction. Enrollment in both of our programs is going to be capped for Satellite, it's going to be at 240 students, and for Bronx Regional, approximately 350 students. We cannot grow. GED Plus, the building, the, the school that's on the bottom two floors above Montefiore in the Life Program, is not going to be affected by this program. And there we have our class. are just the males. If you are following the graduating percentage of males from high schools, you would realize how well we are doing. And standing with them there is Dr. Scott Massey, a renowned English teacher at our school. Yes, so who are our students? At Satellite Academy and at Bronx Regional, we focus on overaged, under-credited students, and our school, like Carol said earlier, has more than 40 years of success helping these students to get a high school diploma and move on to college. Last year, 85% of our male, black, and Latino graduates went on to college. Get certifications, help their community grow, a true 
public education system. We can dream. In summary, this community fears that this proposal of adding a fourth school has the potential for destroying a currently safe and peaceful school complex. This community fears that it will reduce the possibility for continued educational success for its current students because of the disruption of successful schedules and programs. The DOE's plan is not a good fit for our community, and it does not have the community's approval. We feel that the DOE should give the community an opportunity to develop a comprehensive, rigorous plan to use the extra space involving CC12, CCHS, school SLTs, the alternative high school superintendency, the UFT, and other parent community organizations, and most importantly, the students and their parents. Thank you. 